He always used to say that you want to try and absorb what is useful, discard what is useless, and add what is essentially your own. All type of knowledge ultimately means self-knowledge. It's a combination of both. I mean, here it is the natural instinct and here is control. You are to combine the two in harmony. Not if you have one to the extreme, you will be very unscientific. If you have another to the extreme, you become all of a sudden a mechanical man, no longer a human being. So you, it is a successful combination of both. So therefore, it is not only, I mean, so therefore it's not pure naturalness or unnaturalness. The ideal is unnatural naturalness or natural unnaturalness. You have to train. You have to keep your reflexes so that when you want it, it's there. When you want to move, you're moving. And when you move, you are determined to move. Not taking one inch, not anything less than that. If I want to punch, I'm going to do it, man, and I'm going to do it, you see. So, I mean, so that is the type of thing you have to train yourself into it. I do not believe in styles anymore. Unless human beings have three arms and four legs, we will have a different form of fighting. Mm. But basically, we have only two hands and two feet. To me, okay, to me, ultimately, martial art means honestly expressing yourself, the expression of the human body. I mean, the f everything, I mean, you know, not just the hand. And when you're talking about combat, well, I mean, if, if, it, if it is a sport, now, now you're talking about something else. You have regulations, you have rules, but when you're talking about fighting as it is, oh. with no rules, no, no well, then, baby, you better train every part of your body. Kick me. Kick me. You are very much in control of the movement. By too much control, therefore, you are kind of a, a, a concern about the execution. What was that? An exhibition? We need emotional content. Try again. said emotional content not anger now try again with me now right now i'm telling you to you know really just forget about it, just do it now boom you see right on the target when you just ease the burden of your mind you just do it that's it Way to the moon. Don't concentrate on the finger or you will miss all that heavenly glory. I said empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup. It becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. As a result of having something to say, wise people speak, but the only reason fools speak is to fill the silence. 
You see, when I was a child, I spoke and thought and reasoned as a child. But when I grew up, I had to put away childish things. You see, children like to speak to clowns, but as you get older, you have to learn to kick those clowns out of your life. You can't blame the clown for acting like a clown, but you should be more concerned as to why you keep attending the circus with that clown. Eventually, you have to be real with yourself about the life that you have and the life that you want to live. Then you have to make some changes. You have to think, how brilliant are you? How well can you assess situations? Because children games aren't meant to be played in war zones. That's a recipe for disaster. If they're playing games, you can't be upset because when they look in the mirror, they are playing games. Their whole disposition is a walking, talking Nintendo console. A Super Mario Brothers personality without an off switch. A wise man once said, be careful who you lit on your ship because some people will sink the whole ship just because they can't be the captain. So riddle me this, are you more concerned with who gets on the ship or who gets off the ship? Everyone has their motives, which is why discernment is vital. No one can destroy iron, but its own rust can. Likewise, no one can destroy you, but your own mindset. You have to do the math when it comes to people because some people add to your life and some people subtract from your life. The ones that subtract from your life have to be weeded out the equation. As a matter of fact, keep the people that subtract from your life out of your thoughts. Nobody should have rent-free space in your mind. You have to be careful how much you tolerate because you're teaching people how to treat you. If you're losing people in life, you're actually growing and evolving. Accept this evolution as your growth. Wake up on top of the world, not with the world on top of you. Neck of a Stoic.